here at Kobo Arena for the 2010 North American International Auto Show. And we've decided to save you the time and trouble of walking through this enormous hall by finding the 10 most interesting cars and bringing them straight to you. We've got big cars, small cars. We've got 552 horsepower two doors and 122 horsepower two doors. We've got everything you want to take a look at and we've ranked them from zero to hero. So stay tuned and take a look at our top 10 cars of the Detroit Auto Show. At number 10 on our list is the GMC Granite, an exercise in how small we can go with the GMC brand. This would be obviously the smallest GMC ever, even smaller than the Yukon Denali. So the question is, is this simply a ploy for Obama and Pelosi, or is this part of an honest, legitimate market strategy to bring the GMC brand from top to bottom, small to big, offensively large to disturbingly small? From a concept to a facelift, this is the new Lincoln MKX. But the big news is not the facelift grill that ties it in with the rest of the Lincoln family. It's my Lincoln Touch. It's the successor to the sync system that was already best in class and offers a no button dashboard enabling drivers to seamlessly integrate with navigation, video, audio. It's like a giant iPod touch for your car and I predict it's going to take off like nothing before. That's why people will be looking at the MKX. This is already the biggest conquest car for Lincoln. More new Lincoln customers are getting in an MKX than any other kind of Lincoln. And when they see my Lincoln Touch, look for them to stay. From the crookedly applied hybrid badge to the detailing that won't see production, to the surfacing that must make Chris Bangle smile a decade after he invented it. The Volkswagen NCC is yet another cynical attempt by VW to just beat their customers. We saw a two-door Mark IV Jetta debut nearly a decade ago, and the production car was never even close to as exciting as that first concept. Don't look for this to be any different. It's important because it's a new Jetta, but at the same time, what you're seeing is much more ambitious and much more exciting than what you'll buy in a showroom when the time comes. talk about Cadillac's new design direction in a minute. But for now, let's focus on something that enthusiasts have been looking for for a long time. A CTSV coupe, or coupe as Jeremy Clarkson would say. Shorter wheelbase, less weight, still that same LSA motor that we know and love, still the same dependable chassis, six-speed transmission, brakes that don't get tired. This is very probably the fastest luxury car around a racetrack money can buy. Bob Lutz and I showed that in the CTSV Challenge, you can't beat the four-door. Now people are going to find how hard it is to beat a car that weighs even less with a shorter wheelbase and what I have to admit is a pretty kick-ass look. Cadillac Platinum Concept. I'm here with David Caldwell of Cadillac. I met him in the CTSV Challenge. David, with that CTSV Challenge, with the V brand, you set a really strong design and focus direction for Cadillac. But that's only one direction in a market that is traditionally luxury focused. Right. Platinum marks a different kind of direction. Tell me about it. Yeah, I mean, you're exactly right. Uh, you know, we really look at the luxury market. There are segments where obviously high performance is the main source of consumer desirability, especially smaller cars or middle-sized cars like the CTS, where the V-Series is obvious. 
well, we needed to do explore, we thought, the sort of luxury and elegant and technical side of the brand in that direction, as you just said. So XTS Platinum Concept is kind of a vision for how we look at the future of the luxury sedan. So it's sort of a non-traditional, different take on, a, but with all the spaciousness, luxury, and elegance that one would expect from a car of this scale. So we're excited about, the, about this concept. To me, the important thing about this concept is it puts forward a couple things. Front wheel drive as legitimate marketplace driver. Secondly, size. This is a big car and it's unashamedly large. Third is the idea that Cadillac is going to go head to head with a true full size Cadillac, new product, revitalized styling. For the first time in a long time, the big Cadillac is going to have the focus back on it. And to me, that makes this one of the most important cars of the show.